Bell, the winning jockey of Fla Futura, the son of Futura, who's been coming to hand nicely, Aldo. Nice win. Yeah, always showed us a little bit. Candice told me that she thinks she's got on top of his little niggles and uh, he went to the start much better today. A little bit more above himself than I'd like him to be, but uh, I was going to have to take my chances from that draw. My one instructions was don't go around him and uh, I found myself doing just that. But it worked out quite nicely. He was comfortable. I knew Storm Bullard will go out a little, so I just had to wait a few more strides. But the money didn't that my was latched on. And now that he's learning what it's about, still not fluent. But I think more racing, the better he'll do it. So, uh, but to look forward to. And the trip, is this the right type of sweet spot for him? Or is he just being about future, you think future Pearl, Gold Cup, Gold Bowl, Gold Vars winner? Is he still looking for a bit further than this? I, I think once he matures up and strengthens up and shows us it, he tells us when he's ready to go that trip, then he'll probably definitely be up his alley. But right now he's just not strong enough to do that. So we'll keep him over the sort of trip where his turn of foot is still effective and uh, take it step by step and then see when he's ready. Well done. Well done to Mr. Bloch, double for him today. He said he needed a win, so he got two. So uh, I'm pretty sure that might just put a smile on his face to the best team. Thanks for having me. Been riding a lot of work, so I think I deserve this too. Well done to Aldo. Nice to hear that he's been riding a little bit of work. Let's get to the front to Vicky Candice and to Jonathan Bloch. And I think Alice also let's get to the bottom of whether, uh, whether Aldo has been riding a lot of work, but that's neither here nor there. The important thing is that Flavature has come home successful. Can it's never easy when they come to the outside, but um, he, a horse second run after gelding now, he seems to be getting into himself and maturing a little bit. He is slowly but surely, Vicky. Um, you know, he's a lovely horse, and you can see he's got the got an enormous action. Um, and I think he definitely needs time to strengthen up into that action. I think he probably needs another six months before he's a proper horse, I think. And, you know, as a horse that's going to get a bit of ground, and I think he's going to be a lovely staying type of horse a bit later on. So, um, you know, he's got his maiden out the way now. It's been, it's been, he's been a little disappointing one or two runs, but um, as I say, he's he's got a long way to go still. And you know, it was a nice cheap buy. It was a, a, I thought quite a sneaky little find at the sales. And uh, as I say, he's a good look, very attractive looking horse, and he's going to go ground. So I think he's going to be quite an exciting horse later on. Ellis, well done for the win. Thank you very much. Just uh, well done to the partners, to Jonathan, who's had a nice double today, to Nick and Val, to Frank, and then to Michael Silva. His first horse with me, his first horse that he's had in racing, so I'm sure he'll be thrilled. He couldn't unfortunately make it here today, so I hope he's watching and uh, super to start off with a win. It is indeed all exciting when owners have their first winners, so well done, Ken. Thank you. And just to my whole team at home, good ride from Aldo. Thanks to everyone. There you go. The, the good uh, strength of consistency has continued with the bass yard. You can both come across and have a chat to me. Second time, lovely day for you. Yes, lovely day. Uh, nice to have uh, winners. Nice to have winners with nice people. Uh, Nick, well done. Lovely to lead it in with you. And uh, lovely to be involved with uh, Frank Kilborn, uh, with Gaynor, uh, with Michael Silva, and obviously with Nick. Uh, and yes, as Candace said, it was an interesting little story, this, because she bought it at the two-year-old sale, which is the same time when we bought in the bag. And uh, I think she bought it on spec because they stole it, or I mean bought it for 70,000 Rand from Drakenstein. And I said I would take, uh, take it and kind of put it together. Interesting, I got a little tip off, and I've got to give a little bit of credit to Jane Thomas, who mentioned that it was a lovely cult, very very mature and about a lovely cult. So I did have another look at it, and uh, Jane, so thank you to you. And um, yeah, we put it together, and once it came from Drakenstein, we offered, we, we asked Gaynor if she wanted to keep a share of it, which she kindly said she would. So we only had needed to find another two or three mugs, at, and at 70,000 Rand, it's quite hard to find them. Uh, but we managed to do it. So, yeah, all good. Indeed a good day for these fans. Thank you. Yeah, long, please God, long may it continue. And as long as we can have some fun together, that's what it's all about with, with nice partners enjoying ourselves. Indeed it is. Well done. Let me know uh, to Nick. Yeah, Nick, you're also having a bit of a run, as, as is Candice. Yeah, well, I think Jonathan uh, summed it up. And, uh, yeah, just thank you, Telde. I think he had a good ride. And I think uh, we're going to see more, more of uh, Fly Futura. Um, yeah. yeah, it was the exciting win. When they came up the outside, I thought, oh, this could be anything, because not all the horses enjoy the outside. Some of them lug in and you get these unluck, you know, bad luck stories. Were you a bit concerned, top of the straight? Well, last time out, it, that's what happened, and uh, Candice actually gave instructions to, to um, Aldo. But, you know, 
in horse racing, you know, you jump out the stalls and you try and make your best position. And I think Aldo did that, had to do that. And the horse was good enough to win. So a uh, very exciting day. Well done, Fluid. Thank you. Well done to Nick and well done to Jonathan Bloch as well. And it's number eight, Fly for Chira. As Candice has mentioned, a horse that you look in six months' time, he's a lovely uh, stay in, in the developing stages. And he looked great today. So that gelding, a little bit of time, it most certainly has paid dividends for the, the partnership. So well done to them and also to Drakenstein for breeding a lovely horse.